first, just a little bit of background. Here's my old LG G Watch. It's the W100, and it does not support Android Wear 2.0 officially because it does not have the, a, a physical button on the watch to act as a home button. But through the XDA, you can put a port of the LG R watch on here and convert it to Android Wear 2.0. And I'm just going to show you a few things. I'm just going to re-edit this video to send myself some text messages and stuff so you can see the alerts. But for now, I'm just going to go through the, the interface and how smooth it is. There are some legs at time, but here again, it's an unofficial port. And overall, I think it runs really quite nice. Um, you have the, um, the Play Store, which lets you download official apps. Or you can say Essentials for Android Wear. There it is. Now, one thing I put on here is a bubble launcher to turn off the, I hate to swear, the uh, feature of Android Wear 2.0, who somebody thought was a great idea, to change the watch face by swiping either left or swapping right. It would bring you to the watch face selection screen. At the moment, I have it set up where you can just do it on the phone, and the bubble launcher turns it off. So you can't do it this direction, and this is your app drawer which is great. I love it. Um, to get these large icons, I bought the actual launcher for $4. Um, and I don't have any notifications at the moment. I'm going to go ahead and put some on here in just a second. Down here, we have our settings. And you can see here, I'm actually looking through a viewfinder on this. So, There we go, LG G Watch versions. One thing I've noticed on this so far is everything's very reliable as far as um, buzzing my wrist when it comes in. Previously, it hadn't been. Um, probably due to the fact I do use Messenger a lot. And let's see, there is an actual supported Messenger client. It's installed, so now it's going to get buzzed on my wrist through um, Facebook Messenger. Okay, well, I'm going to go ahead and send some notifications to my watch, and I will be back. I so down on my camera so it's not as, as blurry. But I just sent myself a notification. And this is an email notification. And there we go. So you can tap it, read the actual email, and you can go down here to archive it, or you can respond with a keyboard. This supports the um there we go. Oops. Now let's see, let's say Hi, how are, yeah, I suck at this. But anyway, there it is. And so you can actually click on this button right here. Um, let's see, okay, let's pull this up once. I did respond, I did get a notification. Oh, uh, let's see, actually, let's swipe this one off. Did I get another one? Nope, okay. Um, yeah, so that's that. Um, text messaging, same way, very reliable. I'm going to go ahead and send myself a Facebook message, and you can see how that one works too. Now on Facebook, I'm going to go ahead and send myself a message. It'll probably freeze the video again. I'm just going to say, hey, hey. Let's see if it responds. There, it popped up my computer screen. Hey, hey. And there it vibrated. Hey, hey, Adam Smith. And you can tap it, and this is there. This is the actual um, conversation on the messenger, which is really kind of nice. Hi, hey, hi, hi, messages, and then right here, you can send a sticker. Um, same thing. You can use your voice to respond. Hey, what's up? You're being recorded on this review. Very fast voice dictation, and I just submitted it. And now, if we go over to my computer, it says, "Oh, it's can't see it. It's yeah. Anyway, it's there. Ah, uh, can't see it. Oh well." So one more thing I like about this is on the front, you can double tap for Google Now, so we can say. Pictures of George Washington.
There we go. What a handsome fellow. Okay, Google, what is the temperature outside? In Sioux City right now, it's 73. <laughs> well, my phone's tied to Lamar's, and I'm in Sioux City right now. But that's kind of cool and shows you the entire weather forecast. Okay, Google, Tesla stock price. Tesla shares are trading at $309.01 per share on NASDAQ as of 10.48 a.m. Eastern Daylight Time today, down 0.05% from yesterday. Pretty cool. Yeah, I like it so I don't actually trigger everything around me. I can just double tap on it and, and talk to it. Um, yeah, I mean, so if you want a really cheap Android Wear 2.0 watch, this is, you know, between 30 and 60 bucks, full Android, and the battery's great. You just flip it, take these two, four screws off the back, pops off, you remove one more screw and the battery comes out. Battery is um, $10. I just actually replaced it because my battery took a crap. And so, um, yeah, there you go.